Mahmoud Yakubu welcomes Abdul Salam Abubakar to the Dora Akunyili Women Development Center, OKA, the venue for the peace accord ceremony organized by the National Peace Committee. One after the other, candidates and chairmen of political parties took turns to sign the peace accord as a statement of commitment to a peaceful comportment in the period spanning the election. The members of the National Peace Committee have come to a number of states to support a peaceful electoral process. We cherish a number of states and we cherish the peace and unity of Nigeria. We want to contribute our own quota to see that the governorship election in a number of states is divorce of violence. We are also confident that just like Edo and Ondo, the election on Saturday will be peaceful and the outcome will reflect the will of the Anambra voters. INEC has done everything possible to ensure credible elections in Anambra State under very challenging circumstances. I would like to appeal to all parties, candidates and other actors to play their roles in support of the peace accord. Peace for your generation. Peace for generations yet unborn. One thing I can assure you is that the police force, the army, and all of other security agencies posted in Anambra State will remain calm, will remain firm, and will remain professional. We will ensure that nobody disturbs your peace. There's no governor that will be elected that is not a son of Anambra. Um, so we are only here, we can only support Anambra. Anambra. Anambra comes from a very long tradition of political sophistication. Um, and the people who are standing election, you can see from the quality of, of people who are standing election. So I think people should not be afraid. INEC has already done what needs to be done. Uh, the security agencies, as you heard me say, is the question of them just helping to convince people about why they are here and that they are not the traditional policing system that we are used, especially when it comes to elections. The candidates also reaffirm their commitment to a peaceful exercise. I like to encourage, admonish and uh, plead with my followers, come out in mass and conduct yourselves peacefully. I'm a lawmaker. I am very committed because I have appended my signature. So that shows that um, we are all committed to the peace accord. Well, I'm a man of peace. As a physician, I care for life. There's no need for wastage of life. So the peace accord will stand. As you see, most of the candidates are peace-loving people. I think after this, you will see a peaceful election come November 6. There were a few stolen moments of camaraderie and laughter, creating an ambience of peace among the candidates. A beautiful picture the people of Anambra would like to see when the contest is eventually won and lost. The message is quite clear here. May peace prevail in Anambra State before, during and after the election and the candidates have appended their signatures to that effect, a statement of commitment. However, their followers should do the same to ensure a rank of free election on the 6th of November. Ophietime George, Arise News.